welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great and having a great weekend. It's currently Saturday. We've just done our food shop. I'm really impressed. It's 12 o'clock midday and we've been out and we've been quite productive and got it all done. I'm blown to death. It was raining outside, so I look atrocious. But as you can see behind me on the table, there are a lot of items for me to go over today and show you what we've got. So this isn't our normal weekly shop. We have got a lot of stuff like meats and things. Our freezer was completely bare, so we did need to do a big shop. We spent about £105, I think it came to in total, for all the food we got, which I still think is such a bargain price because I know full well if we had taken ourselves to Tesco's, we would have been talking a hell of a lot more money. I just thought I'd run through with you guys some of the meal ideas that we've got for this week. Trying to keep it quite healthy. First of all, Sean's got some mini cheddars. These are his favourite. We've also got a massive thing of loo roll, which we are completely out of. I think we had one roll this morning before we went to the shop. So we've got a big pack of 24 and I think that was £8.50 for 24 rolls. So it's not too bad. The Andrex one I think was £9 or £8.99. So it was a little bit more money for the Andrex. And I think these are the ones we use anyway. So yeah, I thought that wasn't a bad deal really. So I'm going to go through the meats with you guys. I always get prosciutto ham because I put it in my salads. For salads, I'm going to be using the diced chicken breast with some pea shoot salad, a bag of the pea shoot salad mix, and then I'll add in some prosciutto ham. And I also got some sun-dried tomatoes to add into the salad. I thought that would be quite nice. And I also got some mozzarella. Me and Sean absolutely love mozzarella. It was the light mozzarella as well, so hopefully... Once I count it all up, it'll be quite a low calorie lunch. Um, and we've also got some reduced fat coleslaw. So sometimes I'll use that as my dressing rather than an actual salad dressing, just a little bit of like sauce and creaminess to it. Um, and we've got the reduced fat one. Sean tends to just have a sandwich. He has normally just a ham sandwich. So we've got some of the ham slices. He'll have tomato. We haven't bought any bread because we've got bread. Um, and then he'll often have cucumber in that as well. We've also got some of these maple pork belly slices, which we just thought they might be quite nice just to like mix it up in the week because we're losing like slight inspiration for our food ideas, to be honest. So we thought we'd give these a try. Now these bacon lardons we actually bought for tonight because we're going to be making a carbonara. So we've bought some bacon lardons to add to it. We've already got spaghetti so we didn't buy that. But we did buy some of these Dolmio stirring pasta sauces. So we got two carbonara for obviously the both of us. And we also bought some garlic bread for this evening. So we've got nine garlic baguette slices as well. So that's one meal idea. So yeah carbonara with some bacon lardons and some garlic bread um, another meal idea that we've also got we thought we would do a chicken curry so again another pack of the diced chicken because we've got two of them so we've got the diced chicken breast we've bought these um like sauces there so they've got these deluxe sauces sean always has a korma i tend to always have um, a tikka masala but in here look you've got like the sachet i guess that's the seasoning mix that you pour on so we've got that um, this is my chicken tikka masala one and like I said we'll add chicken. We've bought some onions and then we also got some mini garlic and coriander naan breads and Sean has plain poppadoms. That's for our little curry dinner. Now another thing that I tend to sometimes do for lunches as well if I don't fancy a salad I will just bung the same ingredients into a wrap. So I bought some of these eight seeded tortilla wraps. And again, we probably use them for like fajitas as well when we sometimes have fajitas. I've bought a spinach and ricotta pizza. Um, I absolutely love these ingredients. It's got tomato sauce, mozzarella, spinach, mascarpone and ricotta cheese and marinated tomatoes. That's my kind of pizza. And Sean has bought the Cajun chicken one. So we just thought on a weekend rather than spending loads of money on a takeaway, which is I think we've overdone ourselves during Corona, I thought it'd be quite nice for us to just have some cheaper pizzas. I think these were like £1.50 each, so not bad. Then we also got, now I'm a massive fan of salmon. I really, really like salmon. However, I'm trying to find different seasonings and stuff, uh, different recipe ideas to put on salmon. So I got two plain salmon fillets. And then I also saw that they were doing these salmon fillets that were infused with sweet chili marinade. And um, so I thought I'd give them a go. I feel like that just might mix it up a little bit. And normally when I have salmon, I will have sweet potato, which I've not bought in this um, shop because we already have some in the cupboard. But 
We did buy some potatoes, so sometimes I'll have a jacket potato with some salmon and I'll steam some broccoli. That's if I'm being like mega health, which is rare. And Sean isn't a massive fan of salmon, so he got some cod fillets for when I have salmon. So he just got two breaded cod fillets. And again, they're quite low calories, 279 calories in each fillet. So that's quite a nice little idea. What's under here? We've also bought four smoky pork loin steaks. Something else for us to just mix up with, with some rice which moves me on to the copious amounts of bags that we've bought of rice. So I bought some roasted vegetable couscous. Um, I sometimes will put this on my salad, but also me and Sean like to just have rice in an evening with any of these meats that we've bought, to be honest. So we bought three bags of the basmati rice, microwavable because we're lazy and it's just easier. And yeah, we will tend to put that probably with the pork loin steaks, with a bit of salad and a little bit of rice or vegetable couscous and salad. Another dinner that we always do with chicken breasts is chicken breast. We use courgettes, two courgettes. Um, we'll add sweet corn into our rice and then we'll do plain basmati rice with the chicken stock cube. That is like Sean's everyday dinner if he cooks for us. That ten tends to be what he goes for and it's really, really nice. Really, really easy and really, really healthy. So, yeah, can't complain there. Thinking we're going to do a roast dinner tomorrow because it's currently Saturday today. So, we're going to probably do a gammon joint tomorrow. Um, and for the roast dinner, I've bought a gammon joint, some broccoli and some carrots. We've also got some onions for the gravy. I've got some potatoes for the roasties. I've bought these for breakfast. The brown sandwich thins. And I'll have that with two eggs and a quarter of an avocado for breakfast. I love avocado. I am one of those people that has it on everything. Um, so yeah, big, big fan of avocado. So that's a nice breakfast idea. Sean is obsessed with oranges. He loves these ones. My mum always gets these. And every time we go around her house, which hasn't been recent, but when we've previously gone to her house, he normally nicks all of her oranges out the fridge. So... He's picked himself up a little box, and I think that box is so like handy, like a little a little carrier. We've also bought some peppers, and um, that's another thing we tend to put in our rice dishes. We've got one cucumber. We've bought some red apples. So we got some Mediterranean veg. So we're probably going to do the Mediterranean veg with either the smoky barbecue pork loin steaks, or we're going to do it with the Cajun style chicken sizzle steaks. I just think it's a bit nicer to mix it up because we tend to like run out of like healthier options to have on the plate. So rather than doing salad all the time especially if you've had a salad for lunch you don't particularly want it again in the evening so yeah we've gone for some like mixed veg here and we've also bought some bananas we have a banana or tend to sometimes if we're having Weetabix and not having something like eggs and avocado we'll have two Weetabix and a banana on milk for breakfast some people are a bit grossed out about having bananas with milk but um it's a recent try of mine and I absolutely love it they taste so good and then we've got a massive thing of strawberries now we tend to in the evenings try and have a little bit of fruit rather than stuffing our face with chocolate and crisps which again we've done a lot of in lockdown and probably gained about a stone each so we purposely bought a big thing of strawberries to make sure that we use it and we bought some fat-free natural yogurt to go with that um we tend to sometimes put blueberries in with it but we think we're going to give apples a try or banana and strawberries is quite a nice mix as well if we've not had a banana for breakfast so yeah that's like a nice little sweet dessert idea now we stocked up on tomato puree this is something we put in at most of our dishes as well like spag bowl or chili con carne we also got two tubs of the italian tomatoes this is something again that we tend to use in like chili con carne or spag bowls so always handy to have some of them in the cupboard we've recently ran out of our fry light so they were doing the olive oil one they did like a butter flavored one but we've gone for just the generic olive oil one we've got two tubs of sweet corn these are like the larger sweet corns um, and again like i said sean tends to put these in our like chicken rice dinners which is quite nice so we do go through that quite quickly we stocked up on some squash now this is a two liter yeah it's a two liter bottle we got some milk this might gross people out that we have skimmed milk and we also got some fruit and fiber now we have muesli and weetabix that tends to be the cereals that we keep in our house i currently have cookie crisp left from my audi food comparison taste test so so that has been yomped but yeah i thought i would top up on just some more healthier cereals if we want like a different 
breakfast option. I don't know why, but I go through phases with cereal. Sometimes I'll be obsessed with it and I'll want it for like dinner and breakfast and I'll just go through episodes and then I just won't want cereal for months. I don't know if anybody else is like that or if that's just me. We've got some malt loaf. Now this is more just like, this is mostly for me really as a little treat. It's quite low in fats and sugars and saturates and depending on what you put on top of it, obviously if you're gonna put loads of like butter on it, but I put like a smithereen of Lurpak on, the lighter Lurpak. So it's actually quite a nice healthy snack and it's quite sweet. So if you like malt loaf and you're after just a sweet treat, I definitely recommend you give that a go. We also got some chicken stock cubes just to top up on. We've got two packs of the cathedral cheese because we go through this so much. Sean tends to put this in the sandwiches every day. So we topped up on two of them. Cathedral City is obviously like a branded cheese. So yeah, they're so much cheaper. I can't remember for the life of me how much these were. And we've got some reduced fat hummus because sometimes I like to get the carrots out and have a little dip. So yeah, we've got the reduced fat one here. We've got some thin cut orange marmalade just because we don't have any in the fridge. And again, like I said, we're just kind of topping up on our jars and things that we've kind of run out of. Uh, mint sauce we tend to have on a roast dinner. Oh, and we got some lighter triangle cheeses. Now this is like Sean's thing. Um, we stopped up on some bin bags. We got 20 bin bags. These are like the 90 litre ones. So they're quite hefty. You get a fair amount in. So yeah, guys, I think all in all, we got some really, really great items. That's it for today, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Please do smash the thumbs up button if you liked it. And you want to see more of these videos on my channel, then do let me know. Stay safe, have a lovely weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.